Welcome back to our channel. Today I am going to discuss about how to write the very large HDL code for half a circuit using behavioral model. So let me draw the block diagram of half a circuit. Block diagram. Half adder circuit. It's the simple block diagram of half adder. It has a two inputs, one namely called as A and another one namely called as B. Then this half adder circuit produces two outputs. The first output namely called as sum and second output namely called as carry. So this is the simple block diagram of half adder circuit. Now I write the truth table for half adder circuit. It has a two input variables A and B and two output variables sum and carry. So these two input variables it produce four combinations of inputs. First combination is 0, 0. So in this case sum value is 0 and carry value 0. So 0 plus 0, sum value 0 and carry value 0. So next input 0, 1. So sum is 1 and carry value 0. And third input 1, 0. So in this case sum value 1, carry value 0. And final one, both the inputs are 1, 1. So in this case sum is 0 and carry value is 1. So this is the simple truth table for half adder cycles. So using this block diagram and truth table, now I am going to write the program using behavioral model. So as usual first write module, then module name. So module name is half adder. So half adder is the module name. Then so in this block diagram we are using four variables. So among these four variables, two variables for input and two variables of output variables. So let me write here all the variables A, B, sum, then cat. So among these four variables, these two variables used for input, these two variables used for output variables. Now I declare the input variables. So input variables are A and B. Output variables are sum and cat. So these two variables are output variables. Then next always art. So here the half error output is changed based on the input variables A and B. So here always at A comma B. If these two variables any number is changed, the corresponding output also changed. Then begin the process. Begin. So here using behavioral model. So behavioral model in the sense using case statement. So if or else if. If, if condition is true, it produces the output. Suppose condition is false, it go to the next input and check the output variables. So if, now condition is A variable is 0 and B variable is 0. So A equal to 0, Ambrosian B equal to 0. Now I just assign A variable value and B variable value. So A variable is equal to 0, B value equal to 0. If condition is true, begin, if condition is true, it produces the output, sum value 0 and carry value 0. So sum equal to 0, carry equal to 0, then end. So end the condition. So begin and end the condition. So closing the condition. So first input condition is over. Then you go to the next one. Else if. Else if. So A variable value is 0. 
b variable value 1 a equal equal to 0 and b equal equal to 1 so begin the else if loop begin if condition is true sum value 1 and carry value 0 so sum equal to 1 carry equal to 0 end the loop then now I take the third input values once again else if now condition is a variable 1 b variable 0 so a equal equal to 1 and b equal equal to 0 now begin the loop sum equal to 1 carry equal to 0 then end the loop so far we discussed the three variables now we check the final variable so all the three cases is over now we go to final one so here i mention else so yes a value 1 and b value 1 so begin the case so begin the loop so here if condition is true sum value is 0 carry value is 1 so sum equal to 0 carry equal to 1 then in the loop here we start the begin so once again you close the begin statement and finally you can use n module so this is the simple way to write the hofada using behavioral model first you draw the block diagram then you assign the input variables and output variables then i write the two table so in this two table we have uh, two input variables and two output variables so here i am writing the four combinations of input and corresponding output values so as usual you write uh, module and input and output declaration so afterwards you write always at a comma b so a comma b is the two input variables if any one variable value may be changed the corresponding output also change so in the, in this behavioral model you can use if else if statement and finally you close the module so i hope you understand the concept very well if you are watching first time in my video kindly subscribe and support us to make a lot of videos thank you